Hey guys, Wolf here, and today we're going to be talking about the Halo 3 Rogue Armor, or I guess Rogue Armor in general. Now, it's kind of been popular back in the 10 years of going gold Halo series and years. And to start off with this armor, work a piece of art, we have the helmet, which is the MK. Six vests are suited. Now, if you haven't hit that like button, please be sure to go ahead and hit it now, cause I'm pretty sure this is gonna interest you to know if you're an old school kind of Halo player, or I guess if you're not, just hit the like button anyway, cause I sure appreciate it. And yeah, and subscribe most definitely. Now we have the um. Rogue armor, basically, if you've never gotten it, the only way to achieve it is by getting it in retrieving the Spartan Officer achievement on 360 in Halo 3 is the only game you can get this in. The Rogue armor saw limited use at the close of the Covenant War, though reports indicate it performed exceptionally. The series of this armor is the Mark VI. The manufacturer is the Vessel Corporation. The testing site is the Vessel Simulation Lab. And the Rogue Armor Virant represents the first successful attempt by the private contracted company to harness this Magellaner technology. And Created by the Vestal Corporation, the privatized rogue Viren of Magellanar armor issues the traditional team-oriented technology of standard Virens and caters to soldiers who primarily operate or are operating alone, which I know there's a lot of people out there that like to be like lone wolves and don't really like a team team um you know what i'm saying um but anyway you can also obtain a different type of rogue armor in the halo 5 guardians or the halo 4 saga or multiplayer but it's not the same so this is why we're talking about the halo 3 version and now even before the mark 6 series went active in fall of 2552, Oni had already reached out to private corporations with the schematics and specifications. The Vestal Corporation, known for its work in cybernetics and advanced theft deterrent systems, yield concrete results toward the end of the Covenant War. Based out on Bolivan tribute, Vestal's rogue virant was drawn from the A-line of Mark VI specs. It was engineered to provide single operators with advanced network connectivity and sequentially delineated Intel packets. And if you guys don't know what those are, that type of thing, I would suggest going, um, going to look that up on the internet, uh, somewhere else. But, um, that's pretty much it, guys. It's pretty much going to wrap this up. And like I said, the only way, the Rogue Armor is only available in the Halo 3 after a player becomes Spart Officer, which you would have to get the achievement and get the rank. So, I'm sorry for that glitch, guys. It was really a glitch, but addition to the editing software, which it could look like a glitch and make you think, hey, my phone's crazy. But it's not, guys. That was just an um, edit feature. So you can go back and review that as many times as you want. But, uh, pretty much that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe.
most definitely here's a few extra clips of the rogue armor in use and um till then guys please be sure to subscribe for more content like this i will be coming out with a bunch of videos like this very similar as in like i said the entire halo universe kind of breaking it down and pretty much that's it um my gamer tags below if you want to go ahead and add me we can chill hang out either way doesn't really matter which is gonna be in this next clip and till then guys catch you later peace